Just after the Friday prayers at the National Mosque in Abuja, the demonstrators raised placards condemning the desecration of the Quran in Sweden. The protesters later marched on the streets, raising the Quran in solidarity with Muslims around the world. They later stopped for a rally and called on all Muslims and people with moral sense to condemn the deliberate act. The demonstrators have condemned in strong terms the sacrilege under the guise of freedom of expression. They said it is unacceptable to insult Muslims by desecration of the Holy Quran. We are condemning this atrocity because this is trampling upon our right as Muslims. Attacking or burning the Holy Quran is as burning all the Muslims or even humanity in general because you must respect what people respect. So we are condemning what happened in Sweden. Uh, by so doing, we are protesting so that such a thing should not happen elsewhere again. The most significant part of the rally was the burning of the Swedish flag in condemnation of the provocative act. The demonstrators accused the Swedish government the Europeans and the United States of complicity in the plot to insult and provoke Muslims around the world. You don't fight ideology with a barbaric act. The affair is the growth of Islam. If you look at the global trend, recent survey shows that the most popular name in the world is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I look at the trend of uh, Islam and Muslims in Europe. Definitely, they are worried, and they have every reason to be worried. But it is the era of Islam. Sweden has an infamous history of Islamophobic acts, and over the years, Muslims have been the target of violence simply because of their religion there. Anjum Abdullahi, Press TV, Abuja.